The conservative blogger Matt Walsh planned on crashing their next meeting. Well, they moved swiftly to ban him from attending. Walsh is a conservative blogger and podcaster who has been more vocal about the Loudoun County School's transgender policy. As we've seen, these meetings can get pretty intense, even leading to arrests at one point. We have multiple rallies scheduled to protest that policy on transgender students. And I believe that if we protect uh, transgender students and students of color, we protect all students. The days of polite cooperation with evil and falsehood are over now. They're completely over. Now, there are some who say that our message, the reason we've all gathered here today, is uh, bigoted, extreme, you know, radical. We're a bunch of treacherous zealots. I think we're just citizens. We are uh, parents who care about our children, most of all. And not just our own children, but all children. And we're not going to abandon them to be brainwashed and abused by a morally and intellectually corrupted education system. The parents need to be in control of schools. The schools should not be mandating vaccines. They shouldn't be mandating masks. And we need to make sure that the school board understands that we are in charge of children. Mm. I'm a teacher. I teach in Fairfax County Public Schools. And I okay. slowly see like kind of what Loudon is doing, like slowly comes to Fairfax. I teach science, so it's like like removed from me and I can choose like just teach science I still know that it's going to be about more we first came to see Matt Walsh. We love, love what he has to say, but we're here in, in Loudoun County. We live in Lovettsville, and uh, we really care about making sure that schools teach things that are not controversial. All parents should have a say in what's taught in schools. I grew up in Loudoun County schools um, myself, and uh, I have four children that are school age. I've been following the news about what's been going on yeah. and some of the policies that are being pushed. And uh, I just came to speak out. If it weren't for events like this, uh, you know, shining a light on what's been going on, it would be happening behind closed doors. Yeah. And and people wouldn't be, even be aware of some of the policies and some of the things uh, that are going on right now. There are so many teachers like me who are no longer in the system who are offering uh, tutoring services right, to yeah, families who right, are homeschooling yeah, and are not able to do it uh, by themselves. There are means, there are means. You, your child right, does not have to be succumbed to this. I heard about uh, Matt Walsh kerfuffle, but I've been aware of everything going on with Loudoun County. I've grown up here my entire life um, and had been looking for uh, more ways to get involved and this was kind of the spark to come out and uh, really make sure that my voice as a taxpayer was being heard. Hmm. The, bottom, the bottom line, Walsh was absolutely correct when he said we cannot tolerate this anymore. We cannot accept for the sake of comedy saying what is not true is true. It just doesn't work anymore. If you're in the opposition and that scares you, then I'm glad that it does. Right. If we have you worried, then good, you should be, because we're not going away. That's not going to happen. Your old tricks are not going to work. You could call us bigots. Doesn't mean anything coming from you. We hate your attack on truth and on science and on moral decency. We hate that too. And you could call us intolerant, and that's also true because we're not going to tolerate it anymore. We're not going to surrender our kids to this darkness. We're not going to do it. We're not going to give up on truth. Not now, not ever. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Thank you.